Okay folks, thanks very much for joining us. Today I'm going to show you how to use one of these boat seats and convert it into a rotatable, uh, movable boat seat using the, the seat, the swivel plate and a plank of wood. Very easy to use and it can be adapted for all kinds of boats. So these boat seats are they're fairly cheap, they're about £50. Um, sometimes come free of the swivel plate and they're foldable as well, so really dead handy. Um, you don't need to use this kind of seat, you could also use it for the likes of a bucket seat or an old chair seat. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is get our bit of wood. Um, we just need to see where the centre of the, the piece of wood is. And that's so then we can put our swivel plate at the centre of it. It doesn't have to be too accurate. As well as that, there's other bits of wood. So I have, these are all off cuts. You can get them, you get them at the back of the DIY shop. You can pick them up. You might have some lying about. So, um, yeah, don't be bothering about going out and buying any. Okay, so just measuring the, the centre of the wood. I'm going to put that swivel plate in the middle to mark out my holes. Just double checking with the measuring tape to make sure both sides are equal. And marking with a pencil. Okay. We'll look at that side for now. Okay, so these seats, these ones, this particular band anyway, I'm sure most of them do, come with four different screws. Um, basically that's if you want to adapt it onto the extra swivel plate. So all we need to do is remove those out for now. Take those out for now. Okay, and then we can attach our swivel plate. Now it's very important that we attach the, the plate to the seat first and not the wood first afterwards because you'll actually need the you know you'll need to put in the screws the bolts whereas you can you know, there's no other way you would do it if, if it was attached to the wood so just put your four bolts back in and screw them in by hand and then just tighten them at the end with a screwdriver or drill You'll notice as well I have the swivel plate um, turned at a, an angle so it means that I can actually get the screwdriver in otherwise you can make it very difficult for yourself that seems very secure there okay <coughs> so next we just need to get our piece of wood up and um, basically we're going to be drilling our four holes here now so just got a wee bit of scrap wood here just to protect our surface and then you'll want to be using a drill bit the same size as the bolts that you're going to be using. So it could be 4mm bolts, it could be 6mm bolts, in terms of the, the thickness. And then all you need to do is just drill your, your four holes. Okay, now that you have your holes drilled, you can just if you want, you can get a wee bolt just to test to make sure the should fit free if everything was done right. Good to me. I just get, want to basically get a bit of sandpaper and just rough off the edges. The reason we do this is one, it gives a neater finish, but as well as that, the last thing you want on a boat is your fly line to be catching um, or, or any other type of line as well. So it's just the smoother finish, the, the more comfortable the fishing will be as well. And then once you're, you're finished that there, you start painting it. So I've actually used stain here instead of paint, but you can use any waterproof paint. And in fact, it's optional as well. If, if you're using some marine plywood or something like that there, you don't really need to, but it, it looks nicer anyway. So I've just done two coats of stain here. Gives me a nice finish here. So the next thing I need to do is I'm going to use a rubber mat and I'll tell you why I'll do this later on but for now I'm just putting it up against the back of the mat and I'm going to measure basically I'm going to measure out the, the same size as, as the board and because it's black I just use a wee bit of chalk it's a lot easier for marking out. Marked out 
just use a good pair of scissors and just cut right through. It doesn't have to be too neat or fancy because this will all be underneath the board anyway. And this was a, a cheap mat, I think this was about two pounder. So you can get them in pound shops usually in these bargain shops. Um, nothing fancy, but it does the, the perfect job. set this aside for now. I'm going to pretend I'm use four holes on the plank to attach it to the swivel plate. <coughs> as well that the, the underside of, of the wood is going to be where the, the, the stain started to drip as well so again just give us a nicer, nicer finish because it's going to be covered. You may find as well after a couple of coats of stain that some of the bolts just might not go through well um, so you might just have to tap those in or just even just use a screwdriver to just go through some of that dried in stain or paint. Basically we're gonna basically we can use our drill or screwdriver and at the same time we want to use our nut for the bolt for the same size underneath. This all will give you a chance to readjust if there's any loosen where screws wouldn't give you that chance. You can always tighten up the bolt again. And just screw in and the, the bolt should pull and then knocked up. And then all we need to do is just repeat that. There's four holes, so we'll just use the four bolts and four nuts. And once you've finished that there as well, and you'll see there's a, a different few here just to show you how it's done. And then as well as that, I just need to make sure that the bolts are very secure in. So the last thing I need to do is just use a spanner the same size as the nut. And if you hold that secure and then if you screw use a screwdriver or a drill, it'll really pull that nut really tight into the, the plank. Make sure there's no rickling or, or moving about because any, basically any kind of movements will, will keep on working in and eventually they become loose. Go and do your drill clamp any further. And just repeat that again for the other three. So you have four very tight bolts um, secured in there. And the length of the bolts as well can be entirely up to yourself. I think these were about 25 or 30 mil in length. Okay, so you'll notice that these aren't perfectly flush, so there's four bolt heads that are there, and basically they can scrape a a boat seat so that's one of the reasons why I put this mat over is to basically secure give a wee bit of security to the boat seat the boat seat it means they can actually rub up against a rented boat and, or even a, a, a borrowed boat as well secondly as well as that there I want to be able to make sure that it doesn't slip whenever it, it's tied down so and the way you can secure it um, I just use some adhesive so this is just gorilla glue you could use whatever you want no more nails something that'll basically put, put rubber to the wood and then just put that over as you can see everything's hidden then so you don't need to worry about any drips from your stain or anything like that there and just press it firm just to make sure that that glue is well spread in and you know you'll get a good hold and then you can just flip it over and the weight of the seat onto the wood will actually give you a good um, good grip on that so you can leave it overnight you don't need to strap it up or anything the glue will, will be pushed in between the wood and the rubber there and that's it folks that's your seat handy enough 
um, very mobile um, rotates and finally I should have said as well that on the planks you can secure those in the ratchet straps or I use some velcro, stra velcro straps as well hopefully you found that useful and as always if you did hit the like button and thanks very much I'll see you next time